Notification Center. In the horizontal navigation bar, we select our initials and then notifications. On the left, we find the events notification object and below it, all the alarm categories with their corresponding color code. By selecting the events object, we have the possibility to make the general settings valid for all alarm categories. As notification style for toast messages, we can choose between three options. None, which is the default setting, are close automatically as well as close manually. The none setting defines no toast messages will be displayed bottom right of the screen. With the setting close automatically, the toast messages will be displayed bottom right of the screen and will be closed automatically. If close manually is selected, the toast messages will be displayed bottom right of the screen and you can close them manually. With this setting, note, if more than three messages are present, the oldest will be closed automatically. For our demo purpose, we will maintain the default setting none. With the next option, we can determine whether the events should be shown in the notification center or not. We keep it enabled. If the last option is enabled, the audio alarm emitted by the client station will be played for all event categories when a new event occurs. Note here. Depending on the client profile, this option might be switched on by default and read only. For our scope, we disable this option because we do not record the system sounds, which would disturb the tutorial's audio. Besides the settings in the event object, we can override the general settings for each event category. We select the low event category, turn on the override option, and select close manually in the toast messages, turn off the notification center and turn on the sound option. This pencil symbol reminds us that we have made different settings in this category compared to the general settings. Note. These notification settings are user dependent. After this information, it is time to show how to handle the events. First, we distinguish between two methods, fast and investigative treatment. This will be covered in the next videos.